All right, Zane, so Legends of Gold. What did you think when you were pulling up to this facility? What do you think of the facility here at Legends of Gold in South Dakota? Yeah, I, I wasn't sure what to expect. Normally I do camps and it's at like a high school gym or you know something like that. And this is like its own kind of thing. Uh, you know, they got dorms and basically a whole wrestling school set up. So it's pretty awesome what they have. Looking at it, you know, when you when you go all over and it's usually just like a high school yeah. gym, is this, did this throw a curveball to you? Were you a little surprised? Yeah, I was, he, uh, Coach Terry Pack said I would be in the dorms. I didn't really know what to expect, but it's not really dorms. They're pretty much living in luxury over there. You know, it's, uh, they got a cafeteria right down the hall. And, it's pretty much like a little mini college wrestling program. You know, you're from Pennsylvania, from the heart of wrestling, high school wrestling and college wrestling now in, in the United States of America. Um, what do you think of what, what they got going out here in South Dakota with Legends of Gold? It's awesome. Yeah, I think there's a lot of good guys here. Um, you know, I saw some good talent, especially in, in both groups, but you know, the, the high school group that I saw that I met kind of individually was really, um, they were picking up things really fast. Um, you know, they want, I taught some bottom. I know that's not that exciting to some of these guys, uh, but I think they're they're growing and and uh, you know if they're bottom's a really important position. I, I believe in, in my opinion, you know, getting out in elementary school and in and, and folk style. So if they're learning that at this age, it's really really beneficial. What do you think of doing camps in the summer? You know, you you came up doing through camps. I mean, you, you should have been no moved to move yeah. today. I like that. That was fun, right? But it's about having fun. It's about engaging kids and it's about you know kind of. Uh, really growing as a coach as well and a wrestler, but sure. how do you like doing camps? Yeah, uh, you know, sometimes I was showing bottom, like I mentioned, and uh, kid, I think the kids were getting a little bored with it that last session, so I like to show a move that's exciting, and uh, I remember going to camp with the Bonoma brothers, and they showed that move, and that was always one that, like, stuck out to me. So, uh, like, every time kids start getting bored, kind of, with some stuff that I'm doing, I'll throw that in there, and it gets them excited again, and I think it's fun, you know? Being creative and making moves up like that, it's pretty fun. What's next? Uh, I guess I'm, I'm doing another camp in Nebraska, and uh, Jason Nolf is getting married here at the end of the week, so going out to visit him, and it's going to be awesome, him and his wife getting married. Um, but, you know, going forward, I'm going to be, I do, it's, these are pretty much my last two camps uh, of the summer, and then um, I'm just training in State College for the rest of it, you know, gearing up for stuff in the wintertime. That's my focus right now. Press in Russia? Yeah, yeah, I'd like to do the Yargin and, and stuff like that. that. That's probably the next kind of thing on my radar, but right now just learning, competing, helping, uh, you know, kids at camps. I think that helps me, like, break down technique and be able to understand that. Uh, if I can, like, explain it to a kid, then I can, I'm able to, like, grasp, like, why I'm doing things when I'm wrestling, so it helps a lot. I mean, well, safe travels yeah. to you on the camp circuit, man. Keep Thanks. grinding. Hopefully we'll see you at your Regan Sounds winning good. it. That's what I want to see. Yeah, that'd be fun.